anywhere as close to being planned. Uh huh. I'm gonna do Resident Evil 2. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna jump into near Automata or something. Nope, nope. We're gonna pick up exactly <laughs> where I left off with uh, Leon and Claire the other night. Give a little love to both of them. Oh boy. Oh and... God, no. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we'll 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 do that. At least I know this one runs. For now. Uh, last night there was only a couple of areas that like it really kind of lagged on, and uh... that was mainly due to the fact that my my laptop decided that it didn't want to recognize my controller all of a sudden. Huh. So yeah, we're gonna. Pick up with Leon. Now there's some savoring music for you. Yes. Or actually, I have I have a better version. You has a better version. Yes, I have a better version of that theme music for you if you haven't heard. Okay, so let's see what we've got here for good old Leon. Just, just, just drop, dude. Drop. There you go. Enjoy that. I have no idea if he's actually down, down. Well, based on the noises I'm hearing, I'm guessing... There's more than one zombie in this hall. Oh, boy. Zombies in the hall. Hey, look. It's our favorite kind, Rain. He's on fire. Ah, oh, fuck. Woo! That zombie's on fire! Light me on fire like one of your French girls. <laughs> No. What the hell, dude? <laughs> oh, I've got problems. You have serious problems. <laughs> oh, what boy. the fuck is wrong with you? is not going to be good. One might say that's a hot zombie. Oh. Uh, just... Hey, fa Father Satan isn't above dad jokes. Uh, <coughs> <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Fuck. Oh, God. The music, no, the music, oh, no. That, that that music right there is why I'm to uh, do the Resident Evil 2 remake with the freaking classic music. <laughs> and you know what the worst part is? That hallway I was just in. That's uh -huh. where Tyrant first appears in the oh, original, great. but only in the B adventure. So if you're playing uh -huh. on the A adventure, you don't got to worry about that. Just, just die. <laughs> you sound like me. Zombie says no. I don't care what zombie says. Zombie says, uh. How'd that go again? Huh? Never mind. Oh. Ah! It went over your head. <laughs> Damn it. 
Yeah, screw you. I don't have the ammo. I need ammo. <laughs> yeah. I'm in patience. You know, the sad thing is, I never played the original Resident Evil 2. But yeah. based on the Resident Evil 2 remake, I kind of recognize where you are. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... Yay, handgun bullets. Go ahead and pick up the ink ribbons. There's no file here, and the valve handle. So, I'm not even gonna go through that door, because I know what's waiting for me. Blood sex? No. Dear God, I hope not. Trying to get fast over it. Oh God, here we go again. <laughs> Apparently, there are no brakes on the granny train. <laughs> the granny train has no brakes. Gotta run a train on that granny. <laughs> Here's the flaming helicopter that crashed from the building, and this is how you put it out in the RE2 version, in the original. Uh -huh. is a complete wreck. No. You don't say. <clears throat> now back through the hole. Well, to be fair, it didn't have to be a complete wreck. It could have been just, you know, a partial wreck. Run like the wind, Leon! <laughs> Like the wind, don't let the zombies, the zombie birds get you. Squawk! <laughs> okay. Out of curiosity, none of my stuff is coming through on your end, is it? Um. Not that I can tell. Of course, at this point, considering Synthric is playing a game as well. Could be on his end. Oh, what? What's going on? We're just trying to figure out whether or not whatever he's doing is not coming through. Which makes me oddly suspicious. <laughs> Wait, something that I'm doing is not coming through? No, he asked if whatever he I'm was doing... If my game is coming through on his end. Oh. No, that's not gonna, that's not gonna happen unless it goes through... Skirt all of a sudden. Shoddy shells! Okay. Upgrade Matilda! Okay. Go ahead and grab you. There's more ink ribbons, yay. So. The RE2 remake version, this would be the room where you got the weapons key and the first red jewel. Or the red jewel for the music box. Uh -huh. In the original, you actually had two red jewels you needed to find. To put in these, uh, busts. Mm -hmm. Which is really gonna piss you off considering when you find out what it's going to reveal. Great. Wait, what? Is... Oh. 
At first, I thought that was Mr. X chained up against the wall. But, yeah, you get... Leon, in order to get to the sewers, needs to get the four, four chest plugs. While Claire needs a completely different item altogether. Oh, great. But you know the funny thing is? The reason why I say this, is, this room's gonna piss you off? Uh-huh. You see that flashing object right there? Yeah. Guess what that is? <sighs> I just want you to... Th I'm gonna tell you right now. Think back to where you were in the RE2 remake when you found this item. Scepter? The diamond key. Wasn't that in the freaking, like, underground of the house? Or the, the police department? That was in the morgue. <laughs> in, the uh. in the remake. <laughs> oh, wait. Did the morgue even exist in the remake? Oh, it in does. This version of me? It does. You just get a different item out of there. Oh, great. So they switched things up. Of course they did. Which means that whenever I do play this version, it's going to be like a completely different game to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not looking forward to that. I was hoping my knowledge of the remake would help me, but it's not. It hinders me. It is my greatest weakness. So, I've already got two of the plugs. I'm There's the ready. bishop plug and the king plug. Huh. Okay. Okay, so from here... Oh, joy! Okay. I'm not gonna look forward to this! But it has to be done! It must be done. It's a messy job, but someone's gonna do it. Well, then I can show you a messy job anytime. <laughs> <laughs> they don't call it granny gum jumps for nothing! <laughs> <laughs> getting worse. <laughs> oh, God. What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? <laughs> Seriously. <sighs> okay, so, Rain, you're gonna enjoy this. It's total PlayStation 1 era bit, but... Uh... Oh. Oh. Hit shot. oh, fuck yeah. That makes great and moist. I ain't seen something like that since the war. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Oh, come on. <laughs> oh god, what is wrong with me? <laughs> A lot of things, dude. A lot of things. Uh... That reminds me of my days in Nam. Blowing so many heads. <laughs> Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> oh god. Okay, I should have room for this. Okay. This, this office should look mildly familiar because they kept this moderately accurate. <laughs> Oh, okay, this one. Yeah, look a little on the familiar side. Uh... 
Mm. Oh. Isn't this like where Leon's desk was? Nope. Oh. Isn't this where in the remake you find the... You found the valve handle? Yep. Wait a second, how do you already have the bird fire Matilda? You find it much earlier. That's just unfair. If you know where to look. It's a lot of annoying. If you know where to look. Because basically it's hidden in a desk that's uh -huh. locked by a small key. Ooh. But it'll be the second desk you encounter. <laughs> Ha. Huh. So, if you go and get the first desk, you're rewarded with a first aid spray and you won't find another small key till later. Mm -hmm. And if you go and get the second desk, you'll get the handgun upgrades to turn uh, Leon's handgun into the Matilda. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, hey there, TF. How you doing? Yeah. Hey, shoddy shells. Oh, fuck, he's here too. <laughs> Father yeah. Satan is always here. <laughs> watching. Father judging. Father Satan is everywhere. And nowhere, simultaneously. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go watch Simpsons Hit and Run then. Escaping Synthric! Oh, come on. I beat uh, I beat Salt Sanctuary last night, so you'll f Bloodstain next Friday. Ooh. Yeah, I gotta get back to that. I'll be getting back to that on Sunday. Ladies and gentlemen, we have. <laughs> I'm listening. Well, you know now. I beat Salt Sanctuary, so next next Friday is finally bloodstained. So, in the remake version, this is the area where Leon and Claire first met after being separated before when the helicopter exploded. Uh-huh. So, yeah, <laughs> that's a thing. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, Mr. X, he's kind of a dick here. Because you can there actually, can like... be a dick anywhere. Well, you can actually kind Mr. of... Mr. X is kind of a dick only there. You can actually kill him, so to speak. Quote, unquote. Yeah, quote, unquote. Yeah, Don't you want to make a granny sandwich? God damn it, Cinder. <laughs> you were almost a Jill sandwich. Jill oh, sandwich. Jesus. Yes, that one will be coming back here soon. <laughs> I am inevitable. You're something. Uh, okay. Um, so I totally forgot what I was gonna say. Oh uh, no, uh, you can kill Mr. X, and like when you drop him, he stays down until you leave the room, and then he disappears. He shows up at kind of like scripted areas. Ooh. So it's slightly different. Yeah. 
And and there's one other added little bonus that makes him far more entertaining in this one. Entertaining? Yes. How could you make him entertaining? You can loot his body after you drop him. Oh. oh my god. Oh, so like the Magnum Park thing for Nemesis. Yeah, but he specifically only carries ammo. Ooh. But I'm guessing it takes more ammo to bring him down than to get back. Depends on the gun that you're using. Depending on the gun you're using, it could take little to nothing. Like, if you're using the handgun, yeah, you're gonna plug quite a few rounds. But... <laughs> Locked. <laughs> a heart symbol is etched under the hole. <laughs> that was a horrible thing to read in hindsight, considering Father Satan. <laughs> There's a heart symbol etched in my hole. No, <laughs> do not go there. No, 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 no. What a show! It's an old tattoo. No, no, no. no. I got myself a tramp stamp. Oh god. No. <laughs> Stop. So, here's another noticeable difference in terms of map location. In the oh, RE2 no. remake, there was a door here that had like a little closet that you found handgun rounds and uh, wooden boards. Uh huh. And down this hall, it used to lead down to like the bathroom and it would loop around the corner to that break room. Mm hmm. It doesn't anymore, it leads down to here. <laughs> Which oh. leads to that hallway where you had the one room locked by the heart key and one room locked by the glove key. Mm hmm. <laughs> Why do you keep doing this? Because it's freaking gold. You know what, Rain? Just because you're here. Just because you're here. I have something special just for you. <laughs> oh, God. I think I know what's coming. Isn't there spiders in the original Resident Evil 2? That they for some reason took out in the remake. Hey, Rain. Come on. Come on, back here. Huh? Rain. Just a lady zombie. Your mother didn't love you. Yes. <laughs> I didn't think you would unapprove. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> and now the cycle is complete. <laughs> Just remember, like Granny loves you. God. <laughs> I'll give you all the loving your mother didn't give you. I just have a club that's under the keyhole. <laughs> hey Rain, can you can you tell me what room this reminds you of from the remake? Oh no. Oh god, it's that one. Is that the, was that the club one or the heart one? By Resident Evil 2 Remake standard, this would be the club key door. Yeah. And there's the. And this is the room where you pick up the other small key, so if you got the first aid spray first, this is. You'd have to get all the way down here to get. This other small key to open up the other desk to get the handgun upgrade. Oh, okay. Diamond key. 
As grand as this, diamonds are forever. It's a diamond left her key there, huh? Ah, uh, shit. I have room. Christ, okay. I gotta go make room. Cause there's three oh, item there's no. three items in there that I gotta pick up and I can't pick them up. I would, but he never offered. <laughs> oh <Excuse> yummy. <laughs> I would, but he never offered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to understand why they why they didn't offer Granny. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said fucking Christ. <laughs> Not in that context, dear God. You're gonna traumatize a lot of. This is a good Christian Minecraft server. <laughs> Granny's been around a long time, buddy. <laughs> I could probably teach you a thing or two. So yeah, th this desk here is the first desk that you uh, encounter that you would need the small key for. I was actually Judas! Judas, Judas! What the fuck is happening? <laughs> <laughs> Good Christian Minecraft server is slowly being converted. <laughs> I swear it never gets old. <laughs> uh, you know what? D don't worry. Don't worry. I will get revenge. Why? The more you continue to go Grania in my streams, the more I will continue to Crooksy you in yours. Oh, come on. <laughs> hey, it's always oh, Granny's entertaining. <laughs> and Crooksy's not? <laughs> no, he's a prick. I happen to find him quite entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you hate me, Strife? Why do you hate me? Oh, I don't hate you. I love you, Father Satan. Just end me. <laughs> it's time for granted to die! Crooksy 2.0. I've been long, long enough, I can't stand this. <laughs> no. Just no. Okay. So, this cord, and I said this cord, not discord, was the equivalent of throwing boards up in the hallways. Huh. The only problem is, is you only found one cord. Only one in the entire game. Mm-hmm, so you had to pick your hallway. That's a load of crap. Okay, so there's the third plug. Now, you know what the worst part is? I was in the other room. Uh-huh. I was wondering when that was going to happen. I was in the other room and did not get attacked by it, and all of a sudden, boom, there he is. <laughs> what, you're not going to find it? Oh, hell no. Do it for the challenge. I've done enough for the challenge, okay? Go back and watch the first video. You'll see exactly what I mean. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now we're gonna go get rid of. I think there's. This is the last diamond key door. Mm hmm. I think. We're gonna go say hi to Marvin. Oh boy. Oh no, poor Marvin. Now I remember seeing the original Marvin scene and being completely traumatized by it. Yep. Just because of the way his skin went pale and all that. Poor guy. So yeah, there are only two places you can use that cord. This is the first hallway you can use the cord in. Mm -hmm. The second one is when you're heading to the parking garage. 
Since for the most part I've already gathered everything I need to gather out of here, I'm gonna save it for when I had to come back up from the parking garage. Mm hmm But this is the original hallway that had the infamous your mother didn't love you from the remake. <laughs> Great. That was the start of it all. <laughs> that was when it became legend. <laughs> Your mother didn't love you! <laughs> Quit oh. eating my bullets! <laughs> guys really suck. I think they blew. Not grand approach. God damn it. <laughs> I set myself up for that one. I don't know. <laughs> that was my bad. <laughs> I'll, own that. I'll own that one. I almost said something else, but I probably shouldn't. <laughs> just, just go down, please. Hey, look, more film. I'm so boned on ammo. <gasps> ah, you cheap! You suck, dude. You suck so hard. <laughs> He sucks so hard, he pops him right off. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Because doesn't that music sound so inviting? <laughs> No, actually, that sounds like the music that started up right when you were, uh, retrieving that arm, and then you turned around to see that little leg standing behind you. Right. <laughs> Memo to Leon. See, and this is what I mean right here. The, the text doesn't show up on my stream. On the stream. Ah, <laughs> uh, I see. Ah. Uh. So... To Leon S. Kennedy, congratulations on your assignment to the Raccoon City Police Department. We all look forward to having you as part of our team and promise to take good care of you. Welcome aboard from all the guys at the RPD. Yeah, because that went so well. <laughs> and when you first find Marvin, he's sitting here in front of the lockers. Mm-hmm. And he's gone now. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna give you the same treatment as I did in the origin in the remake, Marvin. Headshot. There's Marvin. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> oh, 
I wasn't expecting him to go down in one shotgun ball. Uh-oh. <laughs> what did you do? Um. <laughs> what did you break? I didn't break anything. I didn't realize something had happened. What happened? Apparently my PlayStation 4 turned on. <laughs> Uh -huh. And I go to open my menu on the fucking game, and all of a sudden my controller vibrates, and I hear Devil May Cry come from the controller. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? So now I'm trying to find the remote to my TV so I can turn the TV on and figure out what the fuck, and I can't find the remote for the TV. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Oh, uh, no. What the fuck? Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. boy. Oh boy. I have no idea uh -huh. where the fuck my remote went. Where, oh, where did the remote go? And we'll BRB. All right. <laughs> I guess we have to entertain the, well, it's mainly ourselves, but anyway. Uh -huh. I was going to say, I could, I could say the thing I was going to say earlier. Ah, go ahead. <laughs> You're in good company here, let's be honest. Well, weren't you saying something like, like... I'm going to own it or something like that earlier. Yes. <laughs> I was going to say, my grandma's going to own you tonight. We're getting some pagan action. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Wow, everything is fucking up right now. Huh. Looks like I'm going to need a moment as well. I need oh, to restart. What's the problem? Everything's fucking locking up. I need to restart. Ew. The hell? So apparently, I'm hearing what sounds like big picture on Steam. Picture makes a noise. Mm hmm.
<clears throat> Not sure how much I lost. Apparently, Crusader Kings 2 doesn't like it if you exit out of with all tab too many times. Huh. Because the last time I did it, it kind of took over my entire computer and I had to restart. I went to Task Manager. I had the little gauntlet button presser thingy. And it didn't do its thing. So, yeah, it was the thing. So many things. All the things. Everything and nothing simultaneously. It was kind of dumb. <laughs> There we go. Uh, lost a little bit of stuff. Hello? Back? Hello. Did you finish breaking your PS4? Okay, I think I got it figured out, but I'm not 100% sure. 
<laughs> well, even though I use my PS4 controller for Steam, mm -hmm. it's still synced to my main PS4. You shouldn't have a problem as long as you don't accidentally hit the middle button. Which I did. And hence the reason ten. why it turned on my game. <laughs> so I figured, okay, fine. I'll just use the other, the spare PS4 controller I have. So this way I can avoid that because it's not really synced to any PlayStation. Which is weird because I don't have that problem. Like... I, I'm using the wireless controller, connecting it to my PC with the... And as long as it's connected through the USB cord, even if I press that middle button, it doesn't turn on the PS4. But yeah. the second it's unplugged, then it does. Yeah. So, but it won't recognize my, uh, my, D my backup controller. Ew. So, hence the reason you were hearing the, uh, the big screen noises i was trying to see if i could re-identify and calibrate the controller to where it would recognize that one but it wouldn't work so i've actually had to unplug my ps4 to keep it from turning on oh great oh fantastic oh god i'm already at this section which section is that father satan uh, I just finished the park, so now I'm about to have to deal with the puppy. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, not the puppy. No. It's going to be good. So good. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I'm not looking forward to the next part I have to do. <laughs> and but rain may enjoy it. Mm -hmm. It's time to go to the kennels. Oh my! And what? And what was one key particular event that happened in the kennels, Mister Rain? There's a few things that happen in the kennels. What's the first one that comes to mind? Oh, um, introduction of Ada Wong. Ding, 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 ding. Mm hmm. Is Ada gonna show you her? You know, the sad part is, is the worst joke I think I've ever heard in terms of Ada is how her name sounds when you say it in a total Chinese. Or with. Huh. Ooh, he ate a wong. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Yes, that was a thing, and my brother-in-law makes the joke every chance he can get. That's racist. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She ate a wong. Okay. So now that I've got that problem figured out, oh, let's get back to it since I've lost a lot of time. Mm hmm Click back to the main screen. And now it's just eerily quiet. So spoops. And here's something you never get in Leon's campaign in the original in the remake. The heart key. Ha. Huh. Okay, so just for sake of getting this out of my inventory. Which is the other thing that kind of sucks. <laughs> I can develop mm -hmm. film, but it doesn't show up on my screen. Alright. So I'm gonna go. De I'm gonna develop some film, but you're not gonna see what it is. Jeez. It's probably NSFW Rebecca art, anyways. <laughs> oh no, I found that in the first playthrough. <laughs> I think the worst part is, at least in the remake, she looked like a female. <laughs> in, the, in the original, it kind of looked like a dude. 
<laughs> and it's a picture of what looks to be a G virus, Williams G virus arm in a in a tyrant like container. Code G human body experiment, not, September 15th, 15, uh, time 1524. I'm so bummed on ammo. <laughs> The pretty music. <laughs> hmm. But at least the good news is I kind of have a shortcut back to the main hall real quick. And if I actually work this out right, this is going to be one of the first, uh... Uh, first points of what you do in one adventure can affect the other. Oh, great. Actually, kind of disappointed to do RE3, but oh well. You were so dreading it, and now you can't do it, and it's yeah. like, fuck! I wanted to do it now. Hmm. Okay, and the saddest part is for Leon. This is mm -hmm. the only heart key door. Which I just thought about it. How are you gonna stream the Evil Within? I don't. PS4. Released on PS4. It, it was released on PS4. I have a physical copy of both games. Okay. Never mind that. So this is where I'm going to use the cord because eventually the zombies are gonna come through here if I don't. Building up a decent amount of shoddy shells. Uh, club is etched under the keyhole figures. Okay, are we ready for this shit? Yes. Here, puppy. You gonna use a shotgun on it? I figured they'd die in like three pistol shots like in red Okay, I guess that answers that question. Five six six pistol shots. So screwed. Did <laughs> you run out of health already? I have no healing items on me, and my health is in danger. Why didn't you bring any? Because I wasn't expecting to get my ass handed to me so badly. Look how how bad I'm running. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, that's a fucking thing. I didn't think the limping made you that bad. I think isn't even that bad in the remake. I think. Speaking of which, I wonder if I'm gonna that dodge system. I think. 
Because I have no experience. I have no clue how to make it work. Damn, that's bad limp. Power panel. By dodge system, I mean that I've heard some sort of dodge system in the Resident Evil 3, well, original Resident Evil 3, and Resident Evil Revelations. I got the poochies out of the way. <laughs> All of a sudden they respawn. No! Seriously? No. Oh. So, this particular direction I'm going is not necessary for Leon. It is for Claire. <laughs> uh huh. But I kind of need to go this way because, at the very least, there should be a red herb here. Mm hmm. Not even any healing items for you? Nope. Oh, that's a problem. If you're playing as Claire, I think you'll find some ammo in there, but that's about it. Ew. Oof. Okay. Now we can. Oh, yeah, freaking. Ah, figures. Okay, so can't do anything there yet. And here we go. Holy shit. -o. God, Leon's voice. Mm -hmm. Always looking for a scoop. I heard 
was locked up in the cell block, only there's a wrecked car barring the entrance. I've been trying to find another way inside. Ada's voice actually kind of sounds the same. If we work together, we can move this thing. Give me a hand here, will you? I believe that's the same voice actress that voiced her in... Resident Evil 4, 6, and the, the CG movie she appeared in. Ah. Now that hairstyle on the other hand. Ugh. I promise. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ada, wait! It's time for you to go the way of old here. Can you even shoot them through the cage? <coughs> oh, he can. Oh, great! How convenient! God, I'm gonna hate playing the Resident Evil T Re. Oh, it could be worse. How could it be worse? That music gives me freaking heart palpitations. <laughs> Oh, there's my first blue herb. But the fact that they're even in the game means there's gotta be something that can pull you. Oh, the spiders are here. Of course. Much to Rain's dism dismay. <laughs> they just want to make you a nice silk outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Rub you with the hairy legs. I got that when I had his. That grandma can show you some hairy leg loving too. I haven't shaved in forever. <laughs> <laughs> to the original RE2 version of Ben. Ben? The dude who Let got his head guess. squashed. You must be All Ben, right. right? Get up, now! What do you want? I'm trying to sleep here. Oh god, he looks so generic. Mm-hmm. Which, now that I think about it, the version the in the Resident Evil 2 remake kind of looks like ben, that one guy from Scooby-Doo and the Witch's something. Ghost. About oh, what's been going ben on, Ravencroft. didn't you? Yeah. What did you tell them? Voiced by Tim Curry. Uh -huh. and who the heck are you? I'm trying to find my boyfriend. His I name's John. Movie. He was working for a branch office of Umbrella, based in Chicago, but he suddenly disappeared six months ago. I heard a rumor that he's here in the city. I don't know anything. And even if I did, why would I want to tell you? Okay, I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? I have it right here, officer. 
but I'm not hey, about not to leave you throw away the freaking Zuki. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. Yeah, we got Granny what out was there that? too. Like I said, what the hell was I'm that? not leaving this cell. Perkin. Oh, Get out of here right. before you lead it right to me. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. What? Look, if you want to live, then you're going to have to leave with me. But do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. All right, I'm going. Spiders. Wonder if they'll ever bring them back. Kill the one fire. In true HD. <laughs> Kill them well, I mean, with fire. Well, I mean, they are considering. Uh, Re-remaking Resident Evil 1. <laughs> That'd be an excuse to bring back the Black Tiger. Here we go. Kill them with fire. Oh, I hate the noise they make. Just thump, thump, thump. Having some sound issues. <laughs> it can't handle the spiders. Apparently. Your shots are echoing. Well, I am in a sewer and there's a lot on screen. Oh. God, it makes me wonder what's gonna happen when the freaking G monster show up. Yeah. <laughs> it does make me wonder. But hey, look, the spiders are gone! <laughs> yeah. This makes Rain a happy, happy person. I still say that Ray needs to try out Vindictive. No. It's just the first level. That was a very, It'll be great. very quick no. Here's the here's the chest key door. Yeah. So, I can take care of that now.
Ada? I don't think I've introduced myself yet. My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. It's a dead end. You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? Give me a boost. I'll go and check. And I love it when you talk about shafts. So I can show you some things about shafts. <laughs> <coughs> I've no. got lots of experience. Oh god, no. Just, just no. <laughs> and now I'm not looking forward to this part. <laughs> what the hell is that noise? No dogs. No! See, the reason I hate that particular part <laughs> is uh -huh. because on the A adventure, you have to contend with doggies. And I'm guessing they're worse than in B adventure? On the B adventure, you have to deal with zombies. Just regular old zombies. Isn't that worse? They take more bullets to kill, don't they? The worst part is, is that when you're playing as Claire, you have to control Sherry through this section. Uh, and she doesn't get a weapon. Well, I figured that, since she's a freaking kid. Yeah, the only thing she comes with is a first aid spray. Damn. Sewage disposal map. And now, it, and the best part, Father Satan, this section right here, is your uh -huh. favorite. It's gonna be your favorite because it's a callback to Resident Evil Zero. It's a box puzzle! Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, considering that Resident Evil Zero came out after the box puzzle and Resident Evil call out to this. Uh, but you played Zero before you played the original two, so. True. I imagine you're gonna get the get a call back to zero since you played zero first. Oh boy. Thankfully, it's it's an easy puzzle. Well, the other one was easy too. I'm just an idiot. Well, you don't have to contend with a turning gate. True. There, puzzle done. How do they think about it? They didn't have any sort of box puzzles in the remake. Nope. Weird. And again, I guess all the over shoulder, the shoulder camera didn't. What do we find here? The club key. So I'm gonna try and get to roughly about where the first real boss comes in. I'll probably save it there and call it good. Or maybe I'll contend with the first boss and then save it. I don't know. Do it. Eat the first boss. It'll be a good finale. I don't want to go. I don't want to go too late. Especially since Rain is tired. In your time, it's only like two thirty, isn't it? Leon, well, can you hear me? Ada, did you find anything? Right here. Think fast. Here's one more. Hey, I can't reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. What? Ada, wait!
club key. Shoddy shells. Thank you, Ada. to contend with. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> That's the highlight of Rain's day right there. <laughs> okay. So now that... Oh, shit. I am not about to enjoy this part. Just like in the remake, it happens here too. <coughs> oh no, I guess it happens on the return visit. here oh yeah hey uh father satan yeah here's the morgue oh great those corpses aren't suspicious at all no they're all four not. of them the ammo to deal with you. Okay, now that I have the card key, this is the first demonstration of the zapping system. Where what you do in the A campaign can affect what happens to the other character in the B campaign. Access to this room in the A campaign, you find this locker. Uh huh. Containing a submachine gun and a side pack. With the side pack, you can carry more items. Oh, I didn't think they had inventory expansion back then. There's only one. And whichever one you take from here will be gone for the B scenario player. Oh, that would be a problem. And you can only take one. Oh no, you can take them both. Oh god, why? So, equipping the side pack. So I can now carry up to ten spaces. And just because of how my luck is going, I'm gonna take the submachine gun. Sorry, Claire. Which the game even points out. I should probably leave this for Claire. Rain, are you still alive?
he's asleep. Maybe. Still early. We're almost done, dude. Just hang out a little bit longer. Almost done, I swear. I swear to you, just hold on. Shotgun shells. Nothing in this locker. Nothing in this locker. Nothing in this locker. Watchman's Diary. August 11th, I finally had the chance to see blue skies for the first time in ages, but it did little to lift my spirits. I was reprimanded by the chief for neglecting my duties while I was up on the clock tower. There's only one thing I still don't understand. The chief seemed to be more concerned about the fact that I was up on the tower rather than, the, than that I was neglecting my duties. Why was access to the tower prohibited in the first place anyway? September 5th, I recently talked to the old man who works in the scrapyard out back. His name is Thomas. He's a quiet man and really seems to enjoy chess. He even went so far as to design a special key and lock engraved with chess pieces on them for one of the doors to the disposal yard. We made plans mm -hmm. to play chess tomorrow night. I can't help but wonder how good he is. One thing that's been bothering me is about him is the way he's always scratching himself. Does he have some sort of skin disease or is he just rude? Itchy tasty. September 9th, Thomas was a much better player than I had imagined. I used to think of myself as a fairly decent player, but he did a pretty good job of humbling me. About the only thing I could imagine that that I uh, the only thing I imagine that could match his skills in chess is his appetite. All the guy did was talk about food throughout the entire game. He sounded fairly healthy, but he didn't look quite right. I wonder if he's okay. September 12th, I was supposed to play another game of chess with Thomas, but we had to cancel it because he hasn't been feeling too well. He stopped by to see me, but I told him to go back and rest since he literally looked like the walking dead. He insisted that he was just fine, but I could tell he was really having problems. Come to think of it, I haven't been feeling too good myself lately. This ought to Why the hell were those notes in the... Remake. They were, they were just worded differently, but that ought to oh. cheer you up a little bit, Rain. I just got me a Magnum. Yay, the Magnum. One shot doom. <clears throat> Almost done. There's like one more door to unlock the club key with. Grab the item out of there. and then come back down to the sewer, so. I promise you, you don't have to hang on much longer. That's what she said. Although, I will fully admit I'm doing myself no favors walking around this unhealthy. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Thankfully, for the most part, I've cleared everything out, so... I mean, unless the game manages to throw something at me that I have forgotten about, I should be fine. Keys useless. Discard. Okay. So over here we have film. Over here we have a man on a carriage. I don't remember, was there any ammo in here? There's no ammo left. Okay, so we use Leon's lighter here. And I think it was 
here. Here. And here. And that's how you get the gold cog wheel. The worst part is, is if you're playing the B scenario, mm -hmm. as soon as you start to go around that desk to go get the cogwheel, Mr. Yeah. X will press through the wall. Oh, great. <laughs> the worst part, the worst part is, is you can drop him there. Come back around here and you'll see a big old gaping hole right here in the wall. And then as you come down this hallway, he busts through this wall. So you have to fight him twice, and he Kool-Aid games you twice, versus the remake where you only did it once. Well, twice if you count the lap. Right. Yeah. Okay, so... Fastest way to the library... Screwed, so we're going to take a detour through here. Yeah, this section of the police station you actually have to go through in the original R3, and Type uh -huh. and Nemesis will actually follow you through these rooms. No, thank you. Yeah. No bueno. Severe no bueno. What out, Rain? You're almost there. <laughs> Picture of a dead zombie. Picture in front of the Arcus trailer regressed into a zombie within two hours. Subject repeatedly complained about severe fever and pain. Agitation of the epidermis in addition to feelings of nausea. This happened up to the moment he lost consciousness. Picture by R. Lambert. Wait, does it actually show the picture? Oh, yeah, wait. It, actually, it, it does show the picture, but it's not showing up on the screen. Pretty sure he's dead, Jim. Ray, no. See, the worst part is, is I'm waiting for him to start snoring. Oh, it's gonna happen. In be the equivalent of the first liquor hallway in the remake. Oh, God. <laughs> Which, I wasn't too happy about that part. Because it put me in a false sense of security when I went through the first, uh, first playthrough and there was no wicker there, just for them to turn around and go, "Hey, there's a there's one there now." Well, they like to throw everything at you, like this walkway here. Uh huh. The first time you come through here on the A adventure with Leon, it's clear. 
But when you come up here the first time with Claire, there's a liquor there. Oh, great. And here's where we use the gold cogwheel. As soon as I line it up right. And a nice scene. A nice scene. No! Get! Get away! All right, doesn't he get freaking on the game by G this time? If you're still alive, I think you may enjoy this. Ben! Can you still hear me? Come on, answer! Damn! I don't believe Wait, this. his name is Ben? I mm -hmm. almost got the story. That, may that makes the freaking Ben Ravencroft ben. connection even more weird. Yeah. Bitter irony. The chief of police, a co conspirator. Get that scum. Make him pay. Hang in there, Ben. Oh, my chest. It's burning. What's wrong? Oh, God. <laughs> That's brutal for friggin' PS1 graphic. Isn't it, though? <laughs> Good God, what was that? <clears throat> Mail to the Chief. To Mr. Brian Irons, Chief of the Raccoon City Police Department. We have lost the mansion lab facility due to the actions of the renegade operative, Albert Wesker. Fortunately, his interference will have no lasting effects upon our continued virus research. Our only present concern is the presence of the remaining STARS members, Redfield, Valentine, Burton, Chambers, and Vickers. If it comes to light that the STARS have any evidence as to the activities of our research, dispose of them in such a manner that it would appear to be purely accidental. Just like need my birth. Monitor <laughs> Continue to monitor their progress and make certain their knowledge does not go public. Annette will continue to be your contact throughout this affair. William Burton. To Mr. Brian Irons, Chief of the Raccoon City Police Department, I have deposited the amount of United States $10,000 to your account, to the account for your services, this term as per our agreement. The development of the G-Virus scheduled to replace the T-Virus is near completion. Once completed, I am certain that I will be appointed to a member of the executive board for Umbrella Inc. It is imperative that we proceed with extreme caution. Redfield and the remaining STARS members are still attempting to uncover information on the project. Continue to monitor their activities and block all attempts to investigate the underground research facilities. William Birkin To Brian Irons, Chief of the Raccoon City Police Department. We have a problem. I have received information informing me that Umbrella HQ has sent spies to recover my research on the G-Virus. There are an unknown number of agents involved. They must not be allowed to take this project away from me, as it represents my entire life's work. 
Search the city thoroughly for any suspicious persons. Detain any such individuals by whatever means deemed necessary and contact me immediately through a net. With these precautions, any possible threat should be eliminated. I will not allow anyone to steal my work on the G-Virus. Not even Umbrella. Where are you going, Ada? To the chemical plant. I have a feeling that's where I'll find John. Ada! Wait! Hey! Do you read me, Claire? We now have access to the back of the parking lot. Got it. I'm getting out of here and heading to the sewer. Can you meet me there? I'm on my way. And there it is. <laughs> Rain. Disconnect. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the sewers, I must go. Hang out with my eight legged friends, I know. gone past the hour, hour and a half more than I wanted to. <laughs> I will do that. We'll take, red. we'll take that for heals just in case. We're almost to the end, Rain. You missed a very gruesome execution. Is he actually awake, or is he just making noise? is making gooey noises. Oh dear god. It looks like a freaking alien on me. a mini boss or is that actually the first boss that is legit first boss oh i figured the first boss would be birkin first full and puzzle is complete What was that all about? Running off like that was reckless and stupid. Those zombies are everywhere. Not to mention that thing that got Ben. I was there, Leon. I know. Look, Ada. As an officer, it's my job to look out for you. But we're not going to get through this alive if we don't work together. Okay? All right. We'll do this your way. For now. 
Yay, I have Ada in my party. <laughs> hmm. There's something you Escort here. mission. <laughs> oh god. A different kind of escort. Wink, wink. Hey, hey. room and then we'll call it there All right. because I've, I'm now through the police station I just need to get through the sewer and the lab and we're good mm -hmm. sewer manager facts <coughs> user list of connecting facility on the first and third Wednesdays of the month Angelica Marguerite chief <laughs> Marguerite <laughs> Margaret Chief of the yeah, your favorite. maintenance will make use of the facilities. Be sure to reduce the moisture levels in the facility by activating the fan, as the equipment will be she'll be using is susceptible to the effects of water vapors. On the 28th of every month, the chemical transporter Don Weller will use the facility. The chemicals will, he will be transporting are extremely volatile. Extreme caution should be observed throughout their transportation. On the 6th and 16th of every month, Police Chief Brian Irons will visit the facility to attend the regular meetings that take place in the lab. On the 4th Friday of every other month, William Burke will use the facility to conduct a training seminar for the Chicago branch of Umbrella Inc. As the probability of an attack upon Dr. Burke will be high, take every measure conceivable to guard his life. You will be informed of all other potential visitors and the times they will arrive as needed. Guide these individuals to their destination safely. We expect nothing but the best from you. Charles Coleman, Security Chief, Umbrella Headquarters. Sounds to me like they failed their job. You think? <coughs> Yay, handgun round. And he sounds like he's... If he's not already sick. He's got the T-Virus. We have to put him down. down the hole. I see something flashy. Magnum bullets. Thank you. Shell, thank you, God. So I think that was all that was in here. <clears throat> Magnum bullets, shotgun shells, yep. That is it. So, this is uh, about an hour and 45 minutes. That's a good time to wrap it up. Hmm. So, yeah, if I do this right, I could probably finish Leon's A chapter next playthrough. Alrighty. So, hopefully, I will figure out a way.
way to get my disc clean for Resi Nemesis. Hopefully, the disc being dirty is the issue. Okay, so I got a decent amount of ammo going on. Mm -hmm. The question is, will it be enough? Because we will see Return of Spiders. Oh boy. And we will yeah, see the alligator! Spider. All Yay, right, alligator. <laughs> the alligator returns. Oh. oh, yeah, that's good shit right there. Oh, stretchy, stretchy. Now watching the, watching the friggin' Resident Evil 3 remake, they throw us a curve by throwing Nyx or something. By throwing what? Nyx from, uh... Outbreak Files. I think it's called next. Who knows? It's been a while since I played the Outbreak, so... Anyway... I think there's some monster called Nyx that's like big, just flesh pile. I don't know. Anyway. Okay, so since the inner since Resident Evil 3 did not cooperate the way it should have, thank you guys for at least tuning in and hanging out while I did Resident Evil 2. Yes. So this, this game literally couldn't be done fairly quickly. So I'm just taking a little bit longer since I had to look for ammo and shit, so. Yeah. Anyway, in the meantime, I will see you guys tomorrow, and I will have no issue doing that one, for Bloodstain Ritual of the Night. So. Yes. Um, I'm thinking Monday is going to be an extra long day stream-wise, because I'm going to be doing near early. I'm going to try and do an hour apiece for Chris and Jill on the Director's Cut Resi Walk, uh, Resi. And I got to catch Claire up, so I may attempt to do hers to catch her up to Leon, so. Actually, I just thought about it. Uh, if only I had a PS4 copy of Bloodstain because... As far as I remember, later on, they're supposed to be adding a co-op mode to that as free DLC. Hmm. I don't know how that would work entirely, but I'd be interested to see how it works, but... Well, I think one person plays as that girl, person like that samurai guy. Oh. He was in the original Bloodstain. Oh. Uh. He, he makes a return, and he's voiced by David Hayter, the voice of Solid Snake. Yeah, that guy. So, anyway, so tomorrow night, Bloodstained, near uh, Monday afternoon, evening, got to be a loaded day. Uh, three different Resident Evil playthroughs and a near playthrough. And then Tuesday, I actually kind of have this planned out. I'm going to pray and hope to God I can at least get three quarters of the way through Resi 7 this Tuesday. Yes. So, so the last stream of the year, December 31st, the final Tuesday, I will hopefully finish Resi 7 and be done with Resi 7 going into the new year. I'll finish it before the year is out. I'm not sure about that because you still got all this DLC to go through. Those DLC are big. Well, at the very least, the main campaign. Yeah. So, anyway... Until next time, stay safe, have a good night. Rain's gonna get some sleep because he's already fading. Synthric, I have no idea what he's gonna do, but he's probably gonna go molest a grandma somewhere in the corner. Oh, you betcha! She needs some Synthric loving. And me, I'm gonna work on getting my Resident Evil vids from last night uploaded, so everything that at least Rain saw now, you can see the first part, and it'll make a little bit more sense. It's kind of a short video. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Until tomorrow, peoples, have a good night, and if you're gaming right now, and I know you probably are, remember to game hard or go home. Father Satan, Rain, would you like to say anything before I end this? Remember to hug your grandma! <laughs> right. uh, good night, everybody. I'll be seeing you in bed soon, boy!